director for speaking the most jelly beans on this now. So Billy, what made you decide to stick to jelly beans? I gave my friend a try, and he was bragging about it. He got three, so I wanted to be him. Why couldn't I have been like that? I have an awesome talent. Okay, maybe sticking the most jelly beans in your nose isn't that awesome, but it's different. All my life I wanted to be known for something. All my life everyone around me has been able to do something special, but never me. When is it going to be my turn? When I was a kid, I just went to school and went home. It's the same thing I do now. I go to work, I go home. It's the most boring life anyone could imagine. I wish just once something cool could happen to me. When is it going to be my day? What? We've been expecting you. You've been... What? What's going on? Who are you? Where are we? What's going on? You're in hell. What? You're in hell. Once you were hit by that car, you were killed and ended up here. But if this is... Then you are... <laughs> Why, yes. I am the ruler of hell. I am the god of the underworld. I am the root of all evil. <laughs> My friend, I am Satan. Wait, what? And now, friend, the suffering shall begin. What have I done? Why am I here? I, I never did anything. Exactly! You've never shown any appreciation for anyone. You were never willing to help anybody when they needed you. Whenever someone came calling, where were you? What did you do? You sat there. Each and every time! And now, you will spend eternity suffering for your indifference! No, please, give me a second chance. I can change. I'm sorry. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. god, is, is she, she okay? okay? Oh my oh god, god, somebody, somebody get help. help. What's going on? What is that? You're being revived. You're one of the lucky ones. I promise, I'll change. It's too late. Once you're in hell, there is no chance of going to heaven. You mean, there's nothing I can do? I'll help everyone. I'll make Limbrook the happiest town in the world. I think he's still alive. We need an ambulance here quick. Lindbrook. Maybe we can work something out. Anything. I'll do anything. Just name it, and I'll do it. It's my ex-wife. She lives in Lindbrook. She left me many, many years ago, but I'm still very much in love with her. I've always thought that if she just gave me another chance, I could make her happy. But I can't reach her down here. If, if you could just convince her somehow to come down here, I might have that chance. And you can spend all eternity in heaven. Wait, you have a wife? I thought you'd been down here for all eternity. <laughs> My friend, you misunderstand. Being the devil is much more than it seems. It is a job. I have not been the only one. Before this duty became my existence, I was like you. I was human. I... I am human. And back when I still walked the earth, I had the privilege of falling in love with an incredible woman. But one day, I made a mistake. Or so she thinks. And she left me. And now, it looks like you're the only chance I have of ever seeing her again. Of course. I'll do it. Her name is Velma. Velma Beelzebub. You'll, you'll find her in Lindbrook. The ambulance is on its way. way. Just stay, stay here, here with, with him. him. You have 24 hours to get her here. If, if she has trouble believing you, just, just tell her that I missed the bacon. The bait. Of course, I'll do it. He's waking up, he's waking up. Are you alright? I'm fine. Are you we called an ambulance, it'll be here any minute. No. I'm fine, really. 
Are you sure? A friend of mine was hit by a car, and he seemed fine, but 24 hours after it, he just died. Wait, how long? 24 hours. He just ran out of time, I guess. What's her name again? So, I'm your Velma Piazuma, author of the new book, To Hell and Back. Thank you for having me. So tell me, Velma, I love the way you portray the character of a villain. What gave you the inspiration for him? Well, actually it was based on my real-life relationship with my ex-husband, Lou. The Network Studio. I know who that is. Velna Beelzebub? Yes, I am. How are you? It's always nice to meet a fan. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Charlie. <laughs> I'm actually not a fan. I want to talk to you about your ex-husband. I don't want to hear it. Being with him was a living hell. I have a message from him. Lou? That's impossible. He died a long time ago. You have to believe me. He, he I wish said... I could stay and talk, but I have to go. Please wait. He, he said he misses the bacon. What did you say? He said he misses the bacon. <sighs> Kill myself? I know it sounds extreme. Absolutely no. not. Why not? Are you kidding me? I know it sounds extreme, but I already proved to you that I'm not crazy. I'm not going to kill myself. Look at it this way. You be spending eternity with a man you once loved. In hell? Look around you. We're in hell. We're living amongst demons. We live in a world where people are mugged, raped, and murdered on a daily basis. And it's nothing out of the ordinary. A world where O.J. Simpson was set free. A world where Justin Bieber is a household name. You just paid eight bucks for a cup of coffee. This is hell. The only difference is that here, you have to suffer just like everyone else. But if you do this, you won't have to suffer anymore. You will go down to hell and be treated like an angel. I know deep down you still love him. Everybody still has feelings for their first love. Okay, so maybe I still think about him sometimes. But then I think of why it ended. I did love him once. He was so sweet. And he always tried to make sure the world was right and just. If you did something bad to him, oh boy, he made you suffer. He always stuck up for me. It made me feel safe. And why did you end things? He didn't have his priorities straight. We were going out for dinner one night and it was raining like crazy out. I was parking the car and just wanted to park and go inside. And there was not an entire spot available in the entire lot. I saw this guy pulling out, so I sped over to the spot, and I guess as I was pulling in, I cut a guy off who was going to park there. But I didn't care, I just wanted to go inside. Well, the guy I cut off just started screaming at me, cursing at me. I was so upset, I started to cry. I looked at him, waiting for him to defend me. He just stood there. He said it was wrong of me to cut the guy off. He said I should have given him the spot. If he loved me, he would have defended me. And that's why you stopped loving him? Well, that's part of it. It didn't get any better from there. It's been a long time since I thought about him. Why are these feelings coming back? He still has feelings for you. He misses you. He still loves you. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. I'd be with Lou. He 
would make you suffer. <laughs> so does that mean you'll do it? We've been expecting you. Velma? Hey, Lou. I didn't think I'd be seeing you again. So you managed to take over hell. <laughs> You'll have to tell me how you managed that. It's a very, very long story. We have time. Charlie. You have completed your task, and for that I thank you. You have reunited me with my true love. Now, friend, as promised, you may spend eternity in paradise. I shall send you to heaven. We've been expecting you. Maybe being average isn't so bad. So what if I was never able to do anything special? So what if I was never the center of attention? I learned now I had the ability to. I just never acted on it, and that's okay with me. Just look at where I am now.